Hello and welcome back to another fun round of Warriors 3 Hopes Golden Wildfire playthrough. So, we're going to march to. We're going to do the, the quest. Main story mission, I guess. The proper turn. The pacification of Ardelia. Which, I heard that we see my Cynthia's father. So I'm interested in seeing if that's the case and what it looks like. Everyone, the Middle Frank Opera Company is at the town up the road. We have to get there quick. What? Why? Wow, really? I never imagined they'd come all this way. Wait a minute. What are they doing here? Don't they have their own opera house in the Imperial Capital? Apparently, they came to put on some shows after you signed that pact. Like, as a token of friendship between the Empire and Lester. Do we get to see Manuela and Dorothea? But now, the performers and their guards have volunteered to fight the bandits. Dorothea and Manuela fine with us? They're working together with the local soldiers to protect the town. You're telling me that a bunch of Imperial Opera singers just up and decided to fight for the I operation? mean, there's Dorothea and Manuela that came well, from the there. the Frank Opera Company does have quite a few passionate supporters. Though it's likely more accurate to call them obsessed fans who go wild for their superstar divas. <laughs> I bet those fans are more than willing to go out and play soldier themselves as well. Yeah. I had no idea the opera could get people so worked up. But they're not going to be able to handle these bandits. I heard they're fighting as best they can, but the battle's not going their way. Please, your majesty, we have to save them. That'll be a potential yeah, thing. I want to help Claude? Other folks too. My sister's gonna be so excited when I tell her I met them. Oh yeah, right. She likes the Mill Frank Opera Company. What are you all being so formal for? Oh, I get it. This is all about meeting those famous singers. <laughs> I swear, no matter how grim things get, you never let it get to you, huh? Not that it's a bad thing. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna go beat down some bandits. Better not keep those divas waiting. Please tell me it's Dorothea and Manuela. Let's do the citizens. Okay, uh, so friends, wow. Yeah, persuade Dorothea. Build a bridge. Yeah, no, we're saving Dorothea. Protect allies as they advance, slightly strengthen the allies for a period of time at the start of the battle. Definitely not that. I guess archer protection. Wait, Momoa! Okay, she's... Okay. She's a Grenary, too? That's cool. Dorothea! Okay, so I'm guessing the reason why we can't persuade her is that she's probably route-specific. <gasps> Hanneman?! Okay, at least he's on the battlefield. Like... They remove. Okay, and then who am I putting there? I said the other was probably a good idea, honestly. Saving, all right. Let's fight. I do want that as support, not gonna lie. 
Rescuing the townspeople is our top priority, and we need to help the volunteer soldiers, too. All Not a problem. Ooh, I should have had more. Initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. Where, Lysithia, where are you? You can count on me. I'll do my best. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Let's try this. Let's At other fight. Goes. Also, wait, if she's an ally, why aren't we persuading Dorothea? Join? Does she later turn enemy or something? Oh well. <laughs> Great. If Hammond's joining, does that mean him and Manuela are a thing? Sorry, I'm Ian, so if you hear it chewing. Um. Not a problem. I've got this. So don't mind me. This. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have brought Hilda. Oh well. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. We'll be fine. All right. So if you see any suspicious types lurking among the bandits, they might be those who slither in the dark. Yep. Be careful. How many of these ruffians are there? I can't protect everyone forever. Okay, we need to go. Yeah, we're definitely going to switch to Lawrence. Get him in! Him and Von ah, I, sir. So you've come to my rescue. Thank you. Things were getting a bit out of hand. Is that Professor Hanneman? We have to save him! Don't worry, that's the plan. Let's take it down at once. The enemies are gathering here. On my honor as a noble, I will protect them. <sighs> Evacuation shelter, we're that. Dark Lance. Oh boy. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, Tack. I won't slack off. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Where is that? Um. Initiating the operation. Oh, they're all going for Violet. Okay. Initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. You can count on me. I think I know why. I'll do my best. Now it is. There is nothing. Bring it down. I forgot I gave him the arrow of Indra. Yeah, right. Greatness demands it. Okay, Lawrence. Well, that was certainly close. I am much obliged for your assistance. Have you seen Manuela? She dashed off in pursuit of the bandit leader. 
Ch Momwella! That sounds like you. Momwella! I'm not going to let you steal from such vulnerable people. Stop! Yes! Momwella! I love <gasps> not like Rumit. We gotta help her! I know, I know we do. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Got it. Actually, Leone might be able to get there before him. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Carry the loot to safety oh, and be quick about turn, it. You know? Oh boy. Well, uh, Leone, that's gonna be you. Time to make a name for myself. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Not a problem. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything until. Not a problem. I've got this. Stop right there! I'll never abide stealing from innocent people. Yeah. <gasps> Dorothea. Please oh. lend us a hand. The opera troupe can't hold out much longer. Don't worry, Dorothea. Right there. I will not allow those vile criminals to lay a hand on you. That was too close. Splendid. We have saved everyone. Okay. Hey, Dorothea. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Lawrence. Tear their leader limb from limb. And I am so sorry. What came over me there? <laughs> now, am I glad to see you? Now take care of these cowardly villains. Yep, no problem. Um, let's try Claude. this. Let's see how this goes. Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Okay, so Leon took care of that guy by the looks. What? Time to make a name for myself. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. You can count on me. I'll do my best. I'm on it. I've got your back. Yeah, let's keep Gerald Mission there. The operation. Let's go, everyone. Oh. Lardo. The double I planted turned out to be a stroke of genius. Now to take my leave while the taking is still good. Oh, it's not over. No, nope. Lawrence. There is nothing I cannot do. Is he the real one? Let him get away. I think you've got a handle on everything here. I'll go tend to the injured. We got the stuff back. Nice. Is that it? 
life. I should have stayed a merchant. The money came easier. Yeah, you should have. You scum. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I think I remember him. He's a merchant who used to visit Derek Mock. Um mm. Met today, of course. <laughs> Kill that man and strip his bones of whatever you can find. What man? Yeah, okay. I've seen a few citizens. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Oh wait, hang on. No. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Initiating the operation. Come help. Let's go, everyone. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Yeah, and he'll let you take care of that. And then, Gerald, you know what? Come and help. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Yes, we must help before it is too late. Troops, defensive formation. <laughs> Play Dorothea, because if I just mess up, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Alright, take it down. Me of all people. Really? Where's my bridge? Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Not a problem. I've got this. My turn at last. Bring it down. Not. Why would anyone do something so horrible? You're about to get exactly what you deserve. Dorothea! Save your breath. You'll need it to scream as I tear your limbs from your body. Leone. Got it. So this is more important. Time to make a name for myself. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. I owe you my life. Thank you. Don't worry, it's just the ones being Lawrence. Yeah, Hilda. A 
attack. Great. Okay. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Actually, no. Both I'm of on you it. take on this. Let's see how it goes. Give them no quarter. You do realize you're dead. Yes. We could get across if we lower the drop. Oh. Use the controls. Let's try this. All right, time to get moving. Is there another? You can count on me. No, only those. Okay. Yep, we're not done yet. Oh, I'm so glad they're all right. Somebody help. Please don't leave me behind. Yeah, no one's gonna help you. There's no way this guy's their ringleader. Now where could those pesky slitherers be? Okay. Where's my, like, you know, demonic beast? Now we've got a demonic beast on our hands. The fun never stops, does it? The town cannot sustain any more damage. Take the beast down! Okay, who... Okay, Lance brawling. We don't have any brawlers. And was that wind? Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Lance, wind, and swords? Yes, okay. Not a problem. I've got this. Initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. I'm on it. Actually, yeah, you take Let's care of this guy. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Yeah, honestly, that's pretty much it, so. Oh, I don't feel so good. Was the enemy's weapon poisoned? Oh no! Dorothea's been poisoned? That isn't good. We need to get her to the evacuee shelter on the double. No problem, I got it. My word. It seems Quart was right to be concerned. Okay, then, strategy. They should escort Dorothy to evacuate. There's a drawbridge uh, on the eastern side. Let's use that to help Dorothea escape. Let's try this. I'd better back them up. Yeah, you two guard her. You can count on me. I've got you covered. Thank Take you. a breather. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. Dorothea, we're going to get you. Time to switch your I don't have anyone that can heal her. 
That's the other thing too, so like Switching it none shall surpass me. What? I don't have anyone that can heal. Am I gonna Am I gonna fail because I can't heal? If I if fail, I'm just gonna do the mission off camera and go recruiter. Or by using Linhart. I should have brought him. So this is the scene where all hope seems lost. X. I survived. Thank you. I won't forget the debt I owe you all. If you want to repay us, you'll need to heal up first. We'll talk more once we've taken care of the bandits. <laughs> this is a rather rare poison. But don't worry, Dorothea. You're in good hands. Oh, good. Managed to fell the beast. And Not a problem. Move out. Well, oh, couldn't hurt. And it looks like the town scraped by breather. as well. I should have known these thugs would serve as little more than Solon! Oh my god! My name is Solon, and I am the savior of this beast infested world. Well, I believe Claude's good against him, so. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Now it is my turn. Nope. You're bad against him. Got it. Time to make a name for my I'm on it. Nope, you're bad against him as well. Initiating the operation. But you're not. Let's go, everyone. Not a problem. I've got this. Yeah, that's it. Um Sarah's Mage Connor Wall of Darkness around Solon. Okay, well then. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Oh no, I think let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Initiating the operation. You have three of them? Okay. Let's go, everyone. There they are. No problem. I got it. Looks like they finally slithered into the light. <laughs> Those are the masterminds. Kill them all. Hmm. It looks like we could build a bridge over there. Yeah, that will be useful. Gerald is fine. Gerald, I didn't order you to. Girl, you have no one to blame but yourself. Take your final bow. Now leave. Fresh enemy soldiers are attacking the shelter. Oh boy. We only- you still got that, so, um... Not a problem. Yeah, no, we can't let- I'm here to help, not a problem. No! Attack! I've got this. Initiating the operation. 
Let's go, everyone. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Let's try this. I didn't build a bridge, right? Let's see how this goes. Now it is my turn. Okay. There is nothing I cannot do. Gerald, I'm Lawrence, on. you two set out together. Maybe your disadvantage will in that. Aha! So they've come. I swear on the pride of Lester. I will defend this place. I'm pretty sure I saw some lumber lying around that would work perfectly. If we lay it across, we've got an instant bridge. There we go. Bring it down! There he is. Okay, Leone. Where's Gerald? Go help them out. Time to make a name for myself. Oh, wait. Got it. I was not being dealt with. Time to make a name for myself. Bizarre wall. Fonsar. Put an end to Solar. Hit them hard and fast. Ooh, we can skip my turn, you know. Kill that. your back yeah let's do this I'll back you up not a problem I've got this oops let's try this let's see how this goes Now it is my turn. I will aid you. Now it is my turn. I will aid you. Yeah, that's not enough. Okay, I think I. Yeah, I have everyone I want. My turn at last. I'm not handing this place over to anyone. Let's take it down at once. Lawrence, what are you doing? Oh, the guy he guarded is coming with us. Now okay. This is my turn. Um, I will aid you. Come on. 
situation in town under control great job everyone yeah wow 35 come nice. in a flash just like three years ago was that dark magic if he's got spells like that in his back pocket I don't know how we'll ever catch him we finally found him again but I still couldn't get any information out of him I wasn't able to get any answers either. What did you want to ask him? I have questions about what was done to my body. He and his associates performed horrible rituals on me. Blood experiments. And because of what they did, my lifespan has been drastically shortened. My Scythia. Yep. The experiments took a great toll on my body and left me with a burden that eats away at my longevity. Tomas, or rather Solon, I thought he might know a way to reverse that. I had no idea. We can't let him get away next yeah, time. Yeah, like, yeah, we're gonna rescue if we're you and save you. If not to catch him, then I'd rather we kill him. At least then, he'd never be able to perform those atrocious experiments ever again. I hear you, and I won't forget it. I have a feeling we'll face him again someday. And when we do, we won't let him beat us. Yeah. Shoot. I need to... I want to say that. Solon looked surprised when he saw your powers. It was like he recognized something. I just don't know what. Maybe it wasn't about me. Maybe it was about you. What's the difference? Our destinies are one and the same. Are they now? But if he does know me as you suggest, then it stands to reason that I would know him as well. Which is certainly possible, though I have no memory of meeting him before. You think this means we really are connected to those who slither in the dark? It's too soon to say, but I suspect we'll find our answer in due time. Or you're just lying to me. So long as the truth is what you really desire. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll take the Master Seal. I still have a long way to go. Nice. Gotta keep pushing myself. Okay, so... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, no! Lawrence does his duty. Lawrence's. Ooh, dark lamps too. Level two, I guess. <gasps> I'm sorry. Nullifies effectiveness against armor unit. Oh. Well, we don't have any armor units. You I got some of them useless. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm definitely... Ooh, B, okay. But yeah, no, I'm definitely going to be, um... Redoing this mission as soon as I can to get that sword. Yes! 42?! Dorothea! Okay. Solon may have escaped, but I am pleased that we were able to rescue the songstresses from the opera company. We didn't come out here just to save a few opera stars, Lawrence. We came to protect the town. Besides, those stars just ended up being Dorothea and Professor Manuela. <laughs> oh! Just? You could at least try to sound more excited, your majesty. That's hardly a way to greet someone you haven't seen in years. 
<laughs> Sorry, no offense. I've never seen you two light up the stage, so to me, you're just kind of you. Oh. Well then, we'll have to remedy that. <laughs> as soon as this war is over, we'll invite all of you to see us perform. If the opera company's still standing, that is. The, the fact that she has is coming it has a cutscene. And after being recruited, it's so cool. Alright, let's get down to business. I suspect the kingdom's getting ready to move in response to our retreat. Yeah. Oh. I think it's time we head back to Deirdre and find out as much as we can about what they're planning. Your Majesty, pardon the intrusion, but I must speak with you immediately. You're with the Imperial Army, right? What's going on? I was sent by the Emperor of Adrestia herself, Your Majesty. She formally requests that the Federation dispatch reinforcements to her position. Oh, Edelgard of wants course. us to back her up? I was under the impression she had the Western Front under control. Wait, if she's asking us for help, then I bet she's not in Western Fodlin at all. Correct. The Emperor is currently at Garrick Mach, preparing for an imminent assault what? by the armies of the Kingdom and the Church. Huh. Can't say I saw that one coming. All right, tell Edelgard we're on our way. <gasps> yes, Your Majesty. We just got back from Ferdiad, and now we're heading to Garrick Mach? Never a moment's rest, huh? No time for it, I'm afraid. If we don't act quickly, more lives will be lost, and the end of the war will slip even further away. Plus, if our next battle's at Garrick Mach, there's a chance Rhea will be there. This could be just the opportunity we need. Can you go assemble the troops? Yep, yeah, sure. Golden wildfire. A symbol of the past. Claude's swift military actions save Ordelia territory from immediate danger. However, the Empire situation has drastically changed. The Kingdom and Central Church are closing in on Garrig Mach, placing Edelgard at a disadvantage. After receiving a request for aid, the Federation Army rushes to the scene. Wait, that's not even- okay, I was gonna say. Claude, you're going the wrong way. Edelgard requesting reinforcements from us. This is not a matter that we can respond to lightly. Why? It seems pretty straightforward to me. Hilda, do you truly believe that Edelgard would so readily put herself in our debt had she any other choice? That does not sound like the Edelgard I know. She prefers her debts flow in the opposite direction. Yeah, not right. Sounds like you two have something in common. <laughs> I will not deny it. In fact, that is precisely what gives me such insight into her current predicament. Well, make no mistake. The situation must be dire if she feels we are her best option. Simply put, were we to refuse her, it may well lead to her downfall. I really hope we have our eight support plot soon. What are you getting at, Lawrence? You've got a real dark glint in your eye. The Empire's regime revolves entirely around its current Emperor. If Adrestia were to lose her, it would collapse like a house of cards. I see what you mean. At this point, there's no one in the Imperial line who could realistically inherit the throne. In other words, if we abandon Edelgard in her hour of need, the Empire will fall right along with her. Not an argument I expected from someone as self-righteous as you, Lawrence. That sounds more like... You, Claude! It actually sounds like you, Claude. <laughs> it totally does. And he wouldn't even bat an eye as he said it. It certainly does sound like him. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. And Claude wouldn't even tell his own allies what was going on until it happened. Hey, that's ancient history. Nowadays, we all plot our schemes together. <laughs> We're doing it right now. I guess that's true. Mara, that's Although, what I said. Maybe that means we're all turning into Claude a bit. How else do you explain what's happened to Lawrence? <laughs> the idea that I am somehow emulating Claude is preposterous. I am merely proposing what I believe to be the best course of action for Lester. We can debate whether or not we've all become mini Claudes later. For now, <laughs> let's hear what the king himself thinks we should do. 
Yeah, we're saving that just because I want to post that in general. Yeah. With us being the factor that could turn the tides. We've been here before, haven't we? Last time, I chose to sacrifice Randolph in order to ensure our victory. And because I did, we got ambushed in ALL and barely made it out alive. I don't want to make that mistake again. Oh. This time, we're going to rush to Garrick Mach, wipe out the Central Church's forces, and take down Rhea herself. That's the plan that will put an end to this war with as little bloodshed as possible. That makes it the best option we have. Yes, we're effectively rescuing Edelgard. But hey, we could do worse than having an Emperor in our debt. You're not wrong! You could tell her, hey, you know, the Central Church is destroyed now, so leave the kingdom be. If that is what you deem best, you will hear no objections from me. Yes, I find the plan satisfactory. I got no complaints either. Let's get going. Sounds like we're all in agreement on this one. Why <sighs> Cynthia and Nick not to nothing? Just give the word, Your Majesty. Right. We march on Garrick Mach to rescue the Imperial Army. Prepare to move out immediately. Ooh, look at my hand. As I stretch it out. Yep. Five ranks S, A, B, C, and D. The higher ranks, you get more experience in gold. Okay. Right. Battle suggestions. Hmm. Pick up if you got a suggestion. A Increase the amount of experience gaming used in combat art or magic. Bad. Slightly increase experience gain by mounted classes in battles. Slightly increase gain classes experience by infantry classes in battle. I mean, I'm kind of more leaning more towards <sighs> Let's see, how many mounted people do I have? I have Claude Claude Lysithia Not Lysithia, sorry, Leonie Lawrence Gerald Shamir Ash and Bernadette at seven. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna go with infantry. I've got this. We're going with Holston Shamiris. Look to me, let's get rolling, everyone. Mainly because I also want Marianne to get new support conversation available. It is. But we also you know what? Okay. Let's we'll do the supports and then we'll end the episode. Hey there. How's my favorite mercenary? The enemy's practically on our doorstep, but you're still taking the time to check on me? Why not? I'll never be too busy to check on you. Oh, I'm glad you flirt. Uh, very funny. So what, you're just being nice? Not exactly. You didn't get a chance to learn anything even after oh. you met Solon, did you? Yeah, we never got closure after our fight against those who slither in the dark. But now we have to turn our attention to the central church. I figured even you might have trouble moving on from that one. I'll be honest, I can't stop thinking about it. Who am I, really? It's like the answer is dangling right in front of me, but I just can't reach it. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help you with that. Don't apologize. It's clear what the priority is right now, even to me. We need to put an end to the church as soon as possible so we can end this war. You're right. The longer Foga remains in turmoil, the more likely it is they'll try something again. We need this war to be over so we're not left vulnerable. And that means more work for you. I'm fine, see? Now go be important. <laughs> all right, all right. 
But one more thing before I go. This war is going to end, but our fight with those who slither in the dark won't be over when it does. As long as they keep plotting, we'll keep going after them. I'll need your help with that from here on out. Got it? Yeah, sure. Of course. You can count on me. And if it so happens that we do eventually find out who you really are, just know that you'll still be the same person to me. You'll always be you. Remember that. Thanks, Claude. Same goes for you. Whether you're the leader of the Lester Alliance, the King, or even the Almiron. Oh, keep it down. We're not talking about that part yet. <laughs> it's bang. <laughs> well, we are okay, yeah. Oh wait, no, Claude and Lysophia, yeah, okay. Wait, do I have all no, it's okay, it's just Ignots and Shamir. It will take some time. Hmm, interesting. I mean, and then Balthus, technically, because I feel like he, he fits this route more. Yeah, I'm getting there. Men. Rivens, Leone, you're alive! I thought you went and kicked the bucket! Oh? And I'm equally surprised to find you on the right side of the dirt. Still hunting for treasure while arrows rain down around you? What? <laughs> I saw you speaking with a churlish looking man near the gate earlier, Leone. What, him? Oh, he's just a mercenary I met a while back. I see. Given his filthy appearance, I thought he might be a wild bandit. I can see why you think that. <laughs> Not hardly. Although, if I'm being honest, he's more of a scavenger than a mercenary. A scavenger? Exactly. See, folks like him go to battlefields and loot anything worth a bit of coin that's lying around. <laughs> Noble folk call them midden men, but that's a pretty lousy nickname. <laughs> I've heard tales of such people, but... Yeah, they live in a different world from you and me. Honestly, you could probably live the rest of your life and never run into another one. I... had no idea. Hey, don't look so plum. There's nothing wrong with not knowing about that kind of life. Except that I wish to know more about commoners. But in order to do so, I would need to speak with all manner of different people. Leone, may I ask you something? Teach me the ways of the commoner. I once read something that has stayed with me, and I wonder if you might confirm it. Sure, hit me. Well, one particular book stated that the cookies and cakes eaten by commoners are not sweet. But then another book claimed that commoners do not actually eat desserts at all. So, do they not eat sweets? Or are the sweets they prefer simply not honey? Hmm. Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I ate plenty of treats as a kid that weren't sweet at all. I can't even imagine. There's no way for most commoners to afford the sweets that nobles enjoy. So instead, we eat unsweetened treats. Might be better to call them snacks, really. <laughs> Commoner snacks? They're probably different from what you're used to. They're hard, dry, and look kind of plain. Anyway, you make a rough dough out of whatever grains you have lying around and fry it up. It's basic, but it's filling. So mm. if I were to become a commoner, I would also eat these snacks. I'd never eat sweet candy again. Oh, I said, yeah. Well, not every commoner is forced to live on snacks. I bet you could get your hands on sweets if you were a merchant or an artisan or something. But anyway, you're a noble. Why are you worried? Well, um, about I, that. I'm sorry. It was merely a hypothetical. 
Thank you, Leone. You were very helpful. Was I? Huh. Well, if you've got any other questions, feel free to fire away. Oh, and for the record, the kids in my village were always happy with whatever snacks we could get. They were simple, sure, but also good in a weird way. You should try them sometime. <laughs> a simple taste, is it? Intriguing. Maybe I should try making one of these snacks and see if Leone wants to eat it with me. I want. Oh, there's so many supports where I'm like, I need your A for a second support. That's not the case. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to leave it off. Because I don't see any more supports. So, yeah, until next time. Bye.